In this video, we are going to be going over how to pull Yahoo Finance data into Google Sheets. And we can see here, Yahoo Finance provides a lot of useful data that would be really nice to have into our spreadsheets. So we're gonna go over how to pull things like the price, which we can see listed here, the earnings date, the ex-dividend date. And if we scroll down even farther, we are gonna pull things in like, you can see we have a full description of Microsoft right here, which we are going to pull into our spreadsheet. And if we jump back over to our spreadsheet, this is what our finished product is going to look like. This is just an example of what you can do. And you can see here, I have Apple stock ticker listed here, but by the time we're finished, you can put in whatever stock ticker you want and hit enter. And you can see all this data is going to be pulled into our spreadsheet from Yahoo Finance. So let's go ahead and jump into our tutorial. Okay, so you can see I already have my spreadsheet formatted where it is ready to pull in Yahoo Finance data and we want to pull things from Yahoo Finance like the price of the stock, the earnings date, the ex-dividend date, we want to pull its industry and we also want a complete description of the company. So let's go ahead and jump over to Yahoo Finance and for the sake of this tutorial we are going to be looking at Microsoft. And if you've looked at Yahoo Finance before, then you're familiar with the setup of this page. We can see here they have the stock price listed. They have their earnings date here. They have their ex-dividend date here. And if we scroll down farther down this page, we'll be able to see a complete description of Microsoft. So let's go ahead and jump back over to our spreadsheet. And if you've watched my web scraping video on Google Sheets before, then you know how to use the import HTML command. That's a really useful video. I suggest you watch it. But for Pulling data from Yahoo Finance, we are actually going to be using a function called import XML. And you can see it listed right here. And essentially what it does is it imports data from structured data online. And so we're going to go ahead and use this formula here and open up a parentheses. And in order to use this formula, the very first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to jump back over to Yahoo Finance. And what we're going to do is we are going to copy the URL of this page into our spreadsheet. And I know you guys can't see me doing it, but I'm up here at the top. I'm copying the URL and I'm going back over to our spreadsheet now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add quotations and I'm gonna paste the URL so you can see it right here. And I'm just gonna close this off with quotations. So that's part one of pulling this data into Google Sheets. There's only one more part. All we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a comma and add quotations again. And now we need to actually pull the price into Google Sheets. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump back over to Yahoo Finance. And again, here is the price that we wanna pull. And this is where things, they don't necessarily get tricky, but it is a little bit more advanced. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna double click or double tap here, depending on if you're Mac. And I'm gonna come here and click on inspect. And what's gonna happen when you click on inspect is you're gonna have this show up on the right side of your screen. And essentially, it takes a second to load, so don't fret if it takes just a moment. But we're gonna have all this code show up on our right. And you can see as I hover my mouse over these different codes, different things over here are being highlighted. So if I scroll down a little bit, you can see the day's gain and percent gain is being highlighted. But if we scroll back up, we can see if I have my mouse listed right here, it is highlighting the price of Microsoft. And that is what we're gonna to need to pull into our spreadsheet. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this code right here. If we come down here to copy, you're gonna see we're gonna have a list of options. I'm gonna click on copy full XPath. And once I've done that, we're gonna jump back over to our spreadsheet and we are gonna paste this into our formula. We'll close it off with quotations and close it off with a parenthesis. So you can see what we did. We used the import XML function we then added the URL, and then we pasted in the XPath like I just showed you. And this is all we need in order to pull things into Google Sheets. So when I hit enter, if everything goes as planned, you can see we now have Microsoft stock price listed in Google Sheets. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go forward. We're gonna pull things like our earnings date and X dividend date into Google Sheets using the exact same method. So let's go ahead and We'll copy the first part of this formula since that's gonna stay exactly the same. So I'm just gonna copy this. We'll put this here. Let's go ahead and fix that. There we go. Okay, so you can see all I did was copy the first part of this formula. Now we need a new X path in order to pull in the earnings date. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump back over to 
Yahoo Finance. And if we scroll down, let's see, the earnings date is listed right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this. We'll click on inspect. And you can see right here that April 29th is what I wanna pull into my spreadsheet. So I'm gonna click, double click this. We'll come down here to copy. We'll copy the full XPath. Let's jump back over to our spreadsheet and we'll paste this in. We'll close off this quotations, close it off with a parentheses and here's our formula for earnings date. I'll push enter and you can see we now have our earnings date in Google Sheets. We'll go ahead and center this text as well. And so now I wanna pull my X dividend date into Google Sheets. So again, we're gonna do this almost the exact same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the first part of this formula since it's gonna stay exactly the same. And I'll go ahead and paste that here. And so if we jump back over to Yahoo Finance, we can see our X dividend date is listed right, let's go ahead and scroll back up, is listed right here. So again, I'm gonna double click on this. We're gonna click on inspect. And this will pull up, it takes just a moment usually. Let's scroll back down so we can see what we're highlighting. And right here, this is the code that we need to copy the XPath for. So I'll double click on this. We'll come down here to copy. We'll copy the full XPath, jump back over to our spreadsheet, and we will paste this into Google Sheets. Once again, we'll close it off with a parentheses. Be sure to add quotations if you're having trouble. Make, check and make sure that your quotations are there for the URL and the XPath. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And now we have our X dividend date in Google Sheets as well. All we need left to do is import our industry and the detailed company description. So let's go ahead and just like we have been doing, we'll go ahead and copy the first part of this formula just for time's sake and jump back over to Yahoo Finance. And now I need to find where the industry is listed here. And pulling industry into Google Sheets is something that the Google Finance function doesn't have. So this is actually a really useful method. So let's go ahead and scroll down and see if we can find where this is listed. And okay, so here we go right here. You can see the sector and the industry is listed. You can pull in whichever one you want. I'm gonna go ahead and pull in the sector. So I'm gonna double click right here. We'll click on inspect. And let's see if it'll show us which one we need to pull up. And right here is what we want to pull into Google Sheets. So I'll double click. We'll go to copy. We'll copy the full XPath. We'll, we'll add quotations and paste this into our spreadsheet. Close it off and hit enter. And now we have our industry into Google Sheets. I'll go ahead and increase the font size just a tad. And the last thing that I wanna pull in is our detailed description of the company. So again, I'm gonna copy the first part of this formula since it's gonna stay exactly the same. And I'll paste this in here. And now let's go back over to Yahoo Finance. And here's our detailed company description. You can see it's pretty long. So it's pretty cool to be able to pull this into our spreadsheet so we can see exactly what the business model is for each stock that we look at. So let's go ahead and double click. We'll click on inspect. And if we highlight our cursor here, we can see this entire thing is being highlighted. So let's go ahead and double click. We'll go to copy. We'll copy the full XPath and we'll come back over to our spreadsheet. We'll paste this in and hit enter. And there we go, you can now see we have the entire company description pasted into Google Sheets. So let's go ahead and center this text. I'll give it just a little color. Let's go ahead and fix the formatting for this and this as well. 
And so we have just successfully web scraped all of Microsoft's data into Google Sheets. Now you'll notice if I were to change the stock ticker here to Apple, nothing updated. And that's because we hard coded all of this data. What we can do is we can make a simple change in order to automate this entire web scraping process. And so what we'll do is we'll come over here to the price and we're currently looking at the price for Microsoft. And what we can do is we can remove this part of the URL right here, remove Microsoft as well, and we'll come right here outside of the quotations. And what we can do is we can actually add on to this URL. Let me go ahead and fix that. I meant to remove this. Okay, there we go. So you're gonna remove all of the data up to where it lists Microsoft stock ticker in the URL. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna to add to this URL. And in order to do this, all we're gonna do is we are gonna add an and sign. Let's see, maybe it needs to be right here. We are gonna add an and sign and we are gonna click right here. And once I've done that, I'm gonna hit enter. And you can see we have Microsoft stock price listed right here still. But now if I were to change this to Apple stock ticker, we can see our price was automatically adjusted based off of what is listed right here. And so this will work for pretty much any stock. So let's say I wanna look at Verizon, I'll hit enter and this will automatically update. Or if I wanna look at Bank of America, and you can see just how effective this can be when looking at large amounts of data. So let's go ahead and do this for all of our formulas. All we need to do is remove this data here We'll add quotations, we'll add an and sign, and we wanna add on whatever is listed here. We'll do the same thing here as well. We'll do the same thing for our industry. And now we're gonna do the same thing for our description. We'll add our and sign, we'll come up here, click on our stock ticker and hit enter. And so now we've done everything correctly, this entire spreadsheet should be completely automated to pull data from Yahoo Finance depending on the stock ticker that we have listed right here. So let's go ahead and test it out. We'll list Apple stock ticker and hit enter. And you can see all of this data was automatically pulled. So there you have it, guys. That is how you pull Yahoo Finance data and put it into Google Sheets. And I also showed you how to completely automate the process. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you watching this video. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.